something. Just listen this talk and take notes. We are a lie and lying ourselves daily. All you dream is a sweet lie. You feel comfortable with. Becoming fast rich famous, the only dream that new generations have. And everyone is selling you this dream, and in the end of the social chain. All the money goes in a hand of pockets. When I will be rich. You will do what? The reality is, except a car, a house, and some student debt, maybe some traveling experiences. People don't know what to do with money, literary. Life Problem Solving Talks is my first ebook, Change Your Life at the Price of a Burger, link in description of this video. Never talk about investing when you love hate money, or not being responsible for you own money decisions, and envy rich people, instead of steal knowledge from them. Money is emotion and money is power of negotiation, if you don't have them. There is nothing to negotiate, you are sold other people by your ideas, your time and health. And use your work and values to make money for them. Who doesn't want to spend money without regrets, without ending? If I take all your money and things, what is your value worth? How much knowledge, social relations, skills, capital of image you have? Have real trustworthy friends or enough health and emotional power to restart all over again? When I will be rich I will invest, I will have a healthier and balanced living, I will help others. I will be a lie. Because now the majority of us are living a messy life. Running from school to work and home, we find time to relax when we have 10 minutes for vices, dopamine and sugar, short videos and likes. Money are amplifying the qualities of owner. If you cannot live a disciplined life, live on a budget, not controlling your emotions when by something, or brag in interviews telling lies appearing as angel investor, or philanthropist. Welcome to Enrich Talks YouTube channel, the most original and sincere free helping people channel. This journey of becoming rich, wealthy from nothing, being silly, lazy, not financial educated and afraid to lose. The only dream that new generations have and not understanding the basic principle, that the more you have, the more responsibilities you have on your shoulders. From managing money and people, to leading a big family and keeping them together as a team. But you want to be a rich pawn, on a chess table. What do you know about paying taxes, giving 10% and managing losses, the stress of unexpected costs, and working with people? Everybody from government to employees to poor people and maybe fake friends. They want a piece of your money, a piece of your time and success. Although it is 100% your work only. You want time, to stop working the job you hate, still you waste every day 3 or 4 hours, instead of working on a personal project and accumulate the compound debt of your work and effort. Two talks you will in the description of this video. Check them out. When I will be rich. I will be more serious. Here are 10 ways you can become more serious and avoid being perceived as silly or awkward and some ways to attract success in your life. Grow 1. Mindful listening. Pay close attention to others when they speak. Maintain eye contact and avoid interrupting or making unnecessary comments. Show genuine interest and respond thoughtfully. 2. Thoughtful speech. Think before you speak. Avoid making frivolous or irrelevant remarks. Speak clearly and concisely, and choose your words carefully to convey your ideas effectively. 3. Professional appearance. Dress appropriately for the situation. Ensure your clothing is clean, well-fitted, and suitable for the occasion. Maintain good personal hygiene and grooming. 4. Emotional intelligence. Develop your emotional intelligence by understanding and managing your emotions effectively. Stay composed and avoid overreacting or displaying excessive emotions in inappropriate situations. 5. Time management. Be punctual and respect other people's time. Plan your activities and commitments well in advance to avoid last-minute rush or disorganization. Prioritize your tasks and stay focused to complete them efficiently. 6. Cultivate knowledge. Stay informed and knowledgeable about the subjects that matter to you. Engage in continuous learning and seek to expand your understanding of various topics. This will allow you to contribute meaningfully to conversations. 7. Maintain professional boundaries. Be mindful of appropriate boundaries in different settings, such as the workplace or formal gatherings. Avoid making inappropriate jokes, engaging in gossip, or oversharing personal information. 8. Nonverbal communication. Pay attention to your body language. Maintain an upright posture, avoid fidgeting or excessive gesturing, 
and use appropriate facial expressions to convey your seriousness and attentiveness. 9. Develop self-control. Practice self-discipline and avoid impulsive or immature behavior. Think through your actions before acting and consider the potential consequences. Demonstrate self-control even in challenging situations. 10. Reflect and seek feedback. Regularly reflect on your behavior and interactions. Consider how others perceive you and ask for honest feedback from trusted friends or mentors. Use this feedback constructively to improve your seriousness and social interactions. Remember, being serious doesn't mean you have to be devoid of humor or warmth. It's about finding the right balance and adapting your behavior to suit different contexts. Money are ending. Times are getting tough. And you still take decisions gambling with your life. You don't need just money, you need motivation, life circumstances, empathy, control of emotions and planning. One direction ahead. Check out other interesting talks in the description of this video. Thank you.